Hi, I am Pastor Linda, and I'm the priest of this Church of the Good Shepherd. We are in the middle of Advent, and we're all traveling to Bethlehem because a king is coming. A king was coming, and a king is coming. Now, this king, well, he doesn't have any armies. And he doesn't live in a big palace or a big home. This king is a baby that was born in a barn. The mystery of that baby, that king that was born a baby in a barn, is such a big mystery that the church has set aside four weeks to get ready to enter into that mystery. Now it's really easy to just walk right through a mystery and not even know that, that you're in the middle of it. You can get so busy with so many different things that you don't even know you're right in the middle of a big mystery. So we have this time to kind of slow down, stop, look, and listen. And to travel along with the prophets and the Holy Family and the shepherds and the Magi we're all traveling to Bethlehem. The first week of Advent was the week of the prophets. Now prophets are people who come so close to God and God comes so close to them that they can see. They can see what is really important, what really matters. And they point the way to say, hey, this is what's really important. Right now, they're pointing the way to Bethlehem. And they say, we're not really sure exactly what's going to happen there, but something really important is. Look and listen. So the first week of Advent, we lit the candles of the prophets who show us the way. I'm going to get our wick up here and take a light from the altar, from the altar candle, way up high, and we'll light the first candle, the candle of the prophets. who show the way. And it's nice after you light a candle to just stop and enjoy the light. On the second week, we remember the Holy Family. We remember the Mother Mary and Joseph and the donkey traveling all the way to Bethlehem. The Father Joseph and the Mother Mary. Now the Mother Mary is very pregnant. She was about to have a baby. And it's a long ways to Bethlehem. So she would Sometimes ride the donkey. But when you're very pregnant, it's hard to ride a donkey. And so then she would walk. But when you're very pregnant, it's hard to walk a long ways. And so then she would ride the donkey. She would ride and she would walk. And she would ride and she would walk. Mary and Joseph and the donkey might well have been the very last people coming up the road to Bethlehem that night. Mother Mary and the faithful donkey. And we'll light the second candle, the candle for the Holy Family.
can just enjoy the light. Now we're in the third week. In the third week, we remember the shepherds and the sheep. Now we just have one shepherd and one sheep, but that's enough to remember. The shepherds were out in their fields right outside of Bethlehem, and they were um, keeping watch over their sheep to make sure that no wolves would come and get them in the middle of the night. Suddenly, they saw a bright light up in the sky. It was such a bright light, it made their hearts pound. And then, when the pounding stopped of their hearts so that they could hear, they heard voices. And that made their hearts pound even more until they heard what the voices were saying. The voices were messengers from God and they said, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Well, when you hear a messenger from God, it often does make you afraid. And so messengers from God, the very first thing they often will say is, no need to be afraid. And then they heard something like, we are bringing you good news of great joy um, and of peace and goodwill to all people on, the pla on this planet, on earth. Run, go to Bethlehem and see what's happening. And so we put the, chef, the sheep and the shepherds here. And we'll light the candle. Now on this third week, when we light the candle for the shepherds and the sheep, it's a different color. Pink is for celebration. We can't always be serious. Some people say, well, the color pink, that's for, that's for the Mother Mary. Because without the Mother Mary, there would be no baby. We can just enjoy the lights. If you have candles, you could light them at home. And we'll say a prayer. Holy and gracious God, thank you. Thank you for candles and light. Thank you for prophets and people who help us to see what's really important. Thank you for the Mother Mary and the Father Joseph, and thank you for our own mothers and fathers who walk with us all the time, who walk with us every step of the way, even when it gets really hard. And thank you for the shepherds and the sheep. Thank you for messengers from God who tell us not to be afraid, but to go and see the new things that are happening. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now watch. We're going to do something with the lights. Do you see how the light is all focused, right? It's all in one place right above the candles, each candle. The flame, the candle flame. Well, we're going to change that light and let it go all around the room. Now watch. Do you see how it's just filling up the room so that wherever you go today, you'll find the light of the Holy Family. And we'll change the light for the prophet so that it can fill up the room. And there goes the light of the prophets filling up the room, helping us to see what's really important. And we'll change the light for the for the shepherd and the sheep. The shepherds and the sheep. The light filling up the room, helping us to listen, to listen, to hear what might be new, and to go and see what it's all about. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. And may peace be in your heart and peace be in your family. Next week, we'll have the fourth, the fourth candle, the fourth week of Advent, which will be the Magi. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. to certain portions.